Hey guys, welcome back to Salvage Boys. If you guys are new, um, glad to see you guys here. If you guys are old, thanks for coming back. But again, subscribe, like the video, helps us out. So behind me we have our uh, 2016 Duramax, the one we use for work or for the channel. We just do everything with it. Today we're gonna give it some love. It's a little different video today. It's not a rebuild. It's like a, like a mod or repair but it's been bugging me so i'll show you what's going on so i have moisture in the headlight right here so i was gonna get some new headlights but i figured i'm gonna just take these apart and uh take them all apart and upgrade the halo leds in there also paint um let me show you on this good one paint all this chrome in there black make it look a little nicer or maybe get this color i'm not sure but i can always take them apart again but paint this black uh put different switchback leds in here from uh dynamic diodes i believe and also um, my fog lights went out so this this fogging up of the headlight happened a little bit probably like a month ago and it was on and off a little bit didn't bother me but then it just got to being really bad and uh, then the halo lights are kind of dim don't like that also the fog light went out so i ordered all this stuff and then the fog light came back to life so i'm just going to use these as a spare and put the new ones in a little bit nicer ones and uh, get this uh, moisture out of there so I'm gonna back the truck up into the shop and uh, show you guys kind of how to take the headlights apart, I guess, and uh, go from there. So here is, it's in its stock state. I'll try to take the same picture or video of the headlights, how they look. So hopefully they turn out pretty good. I'm not, I seen some mods done to them like that, but I never, Thought about doing it but i'm like i hey, give it a try worst thing it wor worse comes to worse i screw the headlight up and buy new ones i guess don't really want to but it is what it is so give it a try um we're still waiting for some parts for some other cars and had day off today so instead of just sitting and being a couch potato get something done let's pull it into the shop and get to work So here we go in the box we have um, the fog lights they're like switchback fog lights that's what I have on here you uh, press the fog lights you tur turn on they turn white you turn them off and on again they turn kind of yellowish and then once again they turn to like 3k yellow lights and then once again they start flashing yellow as like hazards and then back to white so it's like a cycle so i'm pretty sure these are the same so you got 6k white and uh 3k yellow so those are the fog lights i think they're like 50 or 70 bucks uh, and then we got the restore rubber resealing glue it's just a roll of the glue to put the headlights back together and then we got the dynamic diodes performance lighting technology so they have um all their wiring and stuff in here for these guys so we have one here and i believe one here and a little one in there so it's like a three-piece deal so i'm going to swap out those boards and uh see um how good it look I, I guess i was looking i don't have any black paint so i might have to go buy some but i have some gray metallic paint uh really good looking so i don't know we'll see once i take this apart it has some black in there maybe spray this gray I don't know at the end of the day i can always re or take it apart or after i spray it doesn't look good i can always um respray it so let's get to taking this grill off i believe we have to take this guy off this bumper cover piece thing and then the grill 
so to get to these headlights so first things first is remove this cover um, and then uh, go from there so it's just these little clips holding it in there a uh, little cl clip remover and you just go around and that should do it So this is all removed and we're just going to remove these guys right here. Uh, I believe that's just a 10 and uh, keep on moving forward. And this is next, this little guy. And I think the headlights should come out. There's, you know, some bolts and stuff. So keep on plucking along. So now that these are removed, um, you just kind of pull on the grill slowly. without not without breaking it see like that and then there's one underneath it's gonna have to get around there. Oh, see <laughs> just like that don't drop the grill but yeah it just pulls off like that and uh there she is <laughs> almost dropped this thing uh then i would have been putting it up a new grill You'll probably see it on the time lapse when I almost drop it. And uh, this you won't have. This is just for like a jump start or a winch or something. It goes through the battery and uh, I have the connectors that you jump in so I don't have to open the hood. Um, so now we're going to take these guys. There's one here. I'm going to take this cover off. There's one there, up there. Remove this and I think the headlight is going to be ready to come out. So after a little bit of prying, you do get this whole thing off. It's kind of tricky. It seems like it's going to break, which this one did rip a little bit. But it looks like it's just plastic welded on there. We just weld it back up. Um, you won't see it on the inside. Glue it. But the top holds in. It's just going to be flopping a little bit. And uh, we can even put like a little screw in there to keep it from flopping like a little black screw or something but we'll try to be a little bit more careful with that one this one was already a little bit ripped looked like maybe somebody already took it apart but that's it this is off now you can get to all the bolts and take this headlight off so i'm gonna go do that to the other side try to be really careful um i did remove uh just this one but then it's better to remove the other one because it gives it out of gets the thing out of the way more and uh, gives you a little bit more playroom. So, but yeah, it's coming apart slowly but surely. that's off that's off and uh, one two three four ten millimeter bolts holding the headlight in so let's take them off show you guys what it is so one two three four one headlight and the other one you have to uh, kind of lift this a little bit with like a screwdriver because it does have like a little clip that it clips in there and holds it. If you just pull, you might break something. So be careful about that. Uh, my time-lapse GoPro is freaking out, overheating or something. I don't know. It is 100 or some degrees. It is pretty hot. It's sweating over here. But that's not even the hard part. <laughs> this is all the easy stuff. So the hard part is going to be melting this glue and taking this cap off. Um, not really looking forward to that one, but... 
I guess you guys are gonna stay for the ride. So here's the headlight. I think I'm gonna need to take this thing off, get these rubber pieces off. Let's see, I think they just pull right off. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, they just pull right off. But I don't know if I mentioned this, but don't do this at home if you don't feel comfortable because I never took one of these big headlights apart and uh, I guess I'm gonna have to see. It doesn't look too bad. I think the hardest part is melting that glue without melting the plastic and that everything else should be fine. So, and one thing um, is kind of pissing me off that I forgot to order this cap, this yellow cap. I wanted to order it in like a smoked look or maybe like a clear so I don't have any yellow in the front. Um, but I didn't so I'm like I want to get this done because this is unacceptable but at the same time I'm gonna hold off want to hold off and get that so I don't know I some people like the yellow some people don't then it's too much you know black headlight but it is what it is I'm just gonna go with this uh, even though I'm kind of still upset about that plus they are like uh, um 90 or 100 bucks for just these two caps so i am saving 100 bucks by having that in there and maybe throw some switchback leds in there but then this yellow won't make it look as good but this i don't know it is what it is at this point let's just tear into this headlight take all this stuff off that we is in the way and then start heating this thing up and uh, prying this lens off so check this out there's this bracket here there's two little screws holding it and then it just slides back and out. And then this little rubber gasket thing, it just clips in, you just gotta be really careful uh, because this is plastic, so you don't wanna break it. And then it is rubber over here. Um, and then there's four screws, one, two, three, four, um, that hold the housing in. And then you just flip it over. And try to do it with one hand. And uh, there's some little clips to hold the lens in. And then there's that glue in there um so i'm gonna get a heat gun um i was gonna use the oven but since it's my first time and uh for work i use heat gun and hopefully um i know how not to um uh, melt this plastic but i'm gonna try to tr do it with the heat gun if it doesn't work i'm gonna pop it in the oven heat it up i just don't want to take all this ballast and stuff off um i just want to take this uh lens off so I'm gonna throw a little time lapse with the heat gun and uh, see what happens. Well, boys, after like half hour or more, it's not going anywhere. It's so tough with the heat gun it's melting stuff and see a little piece broke off i think that should matter just like a little lip but that's no bueno so i went ahead and fired up the went ahead and fired up the oven i'm gonna stick it in there because the problem is the heat gun melts the seal on the outer side but not on the inner side and I'm, I'm guessing there's both and it's like a rubbery i mean it cools down so fast and it's like rubbery so i don't want to break this lens i'm just gonna heat it up and uh, hopefully it melts the glue enough to just give way but it is giving way but it's not consistent heat i would say so now i have to remove the ballast off this thing off the back let me flip this thing over so I'm gonna remove that ballast, anything I can, so it doesn't heat up. So I got it out of the oven, it's pretty hot. I didn't uh, film anything, but even out of the oven, this is how far I got. There is a lot of prying. I mean, I'm pretty sure this plastic will bend back, just get heated up, but holy moly, this stuff is like rock solid already. It's only been like 10 minutes. So the other one's heating up. I'm gonna let it run in the oven for a little bit more, but this one's got to go back into the oven because it's not coming loose. And this is the easy part. 
this one where it goes in so much over here this angle and right here man that's not gonna be very fun Whew. heat gun everything is just you have to almost take it apart inside the oven so fun 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 but yeah it's not as easy as it sounds or looks so if you really really have to do it do it but if you uh if you can do something else do something else because this is this is not as fun as i thought it was going to be i know it's going to be a pain but it's not fun at all well after three trips to the oven the lens is off or the cover is off but so the other one's still cooking this one came off it is a lot of prying i mean this thing bends and it's i mean it's warm it's pliable plastic so everything goes back pretty much you know some of these tabs like i kind of screw up one but you can't really see them and then once i heat them up they'll go back but now i have to heat up some of this glue inside and clean that out that looks like time uh consuming so i'll pull these markers off right now so i don't damage them and uh start uh putting all this back together or clean out the glue then putting everything back together once the other one warms up uh we'll be back in business but here's this so i guess this is just two screws right there and it removes so once i'm done cleaning that off i'll remove this clean the lens paint that and uh catch you guys on the next clip all right it's been a minute now so i got both of the covers removed everything inside removed all this that's the mess had to clean out all the glue out of there all that adhesive and uh that's one thing so the one thing i found out that uh where it's, where is it this one thing not this one okay the reason why i was fogging up look i don't know if you guys can see it on camera but it has a crack in it for some reason so i'll epoxy that thing so it doesn't leak anymore because it was like pinched out pushed it and snapped back in and uh at this point i don't know how it'll look but i don't think it's worth it i spent it was so hot i was running from the oven back with rotating the headlights and uh i think i did three no four trips or five for each headlight uh i baked them at 220 for like 15 minutes at a time um because i wasn't sure so i'm like that that should be fine and it didn't seem like but the glue holy moly so everything kind of was good um some of the i mean it's kind of rough right now but i'll clean it up and uh, once it's all put back together but here's what happened on one of them let me see which one it is mm, not this one right here so so it's on this guy the guy that wasn't even uh fogged up but i cracked the the housing a little bit so that's fun so i looked online couldn't find just a clear piece uh, i'm still gonna look but i'll put some clear epoxy on the inside of it so it doesn't leak and it doesn't run anymore and maybe so it's just up here and this gets covered up so i don't know it sucks but it is what it is um so the next step so i cleaned that off i'm gonna epoxy this thing um i'm gonna fix one of these guys that was getting loose epoxy that on the back side or welded whatever um and then i'm gonna fix this crack right here and uh run all the wires actually i might just paint it first so i'm gonna take all this apart and uh i'm gonna paint it black i got some paint in there got some black metallic paint um so i'm gonna take all this apart and uh paint it so while i'm doing all the electronic stuff um it's getting dried so i can slap it all back together so this is what we're replacing we're taking these guys sorry it's a mess in here but so these guys these motherboards they have leds inside and uh 
we're upgrading them to the nicer ones so what we're going to do is grind these off i'll show you i did it already on the other one and then we can take it off and then glue the new ones back in so this is what you do you just grind it off and it'll come right off comes right off that's the board and the new ones in there so there's one two and then the third one on here i haven't done this one because i want to clean it up a little bit over here so i work with the clean space and i wipe everything down blow it out but right now i'm gonna take these guys off uh fix that clear lens um and paint them so then while i'm doing all that this can dry so let's uh throw on the time lapse and get to work here it is um i got a new washer so i'm this one still worked though it's just kind of didn't work right so <laughs> convenient is gonna use it as a table but here it is all removed it's just some little adhesive was still holding it so we have to clean all this off so while I, i'm gonna clean this off epoxy it and then clean it off more um but here's what i'm trying to do i'm gonna try to i'm gonna take this cover off this and this from the back side and they're just looks like they're just welded in there um so I just grind this a little tip off and then we can epoxy them back in or um plastic weld them back in so we don't get any paint on them so i'm gonna take both or three of these things off that's where the led is that's where the turn signal is and i'm gonna spray this metallic black so it doesn't have this chrome this stuff it's just gonna be nice and metallic black i think it'll look good if it doesn't when i change this piece out i'll put the clear on here and do whatever i need to do on here but i think it should be good i don't want to tape all this off so i'm just going to leave this black um and go with this but it's going to be kind of pain to do and i don't really like this glossy black i want it metallic i want it to pop so i'm gonna get these off do it on both headlights spray this thing and you guys uh We'll see how it looks. There you guys can see what I meant about removing these little covers. They're like welded on the back side. They're pretty snug, but then just in case, you know, we hit a bump. But then you put them back on and you put epoxy in and it adheres to this and it creates the same thing on there. But this is what I'm gonna paint black and then all that will stay. Um, get rid of all this chrome. Because eventually I wanna get rid of um, all the chrome on the car or on the truck. I wanna just color match all the plastics and this is uh i thought this was gonna be easier but <laughs> it is what it is it's kind of fun actually uh thinking it's a headlight and you can rebuild it um it's just hard to get parts you know just individual ones some of them they offer some of them they don't but it's somebody built it so it's oh man look at this this thing actually removes too this black piece Maybe keep that black and just paint this metallic. I don't know. I'll see how it looks. I don't want to... I want to paint it all and go like that. Because if I just don't paint this, then I have to remove it again. And it doesn't look like fun. But I can actually remove this little black plastic deal. It actually looks like... It's pretty cheaply painted. Or it's not painted, it's just plastic. So I think I'm just going to paint it all. Well, boys, they're nice and scuffed up. Grease and wax removed. All kind of good stuff. So I think should be ready for paint. Uh, shake up the can. Set them up on my custom paint booth. I think they should be good. I'm going to 
gonna set it up right. All right, guys. Let's paint. Dang, boys and girls, it turned out nice. Metallic, just how I wanted it. Put a couple of coats on there so it covers all the imperfections. But man, can't wait until it comes back together. So far, I wasn't too happy with the whole process, but I mean, it might be worth it because it looks sick. So I'm gonna go uh, and uh, start fixing the clear lens and uh, go from there. It's a little bit cleaner, but here are the old boards. There's nothing wrong with them. Look, this one has like some water damage. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. They just aren't as bright. So I'm gonna start putting in the new ones. So the new ones are right in here. Open them up, get them in the Okay, so this one is, I mean, it's almost dry. Uh, that one looks like it might be a little bit, might need a little bit more. Actually, no, that one's pretty good. But that one's drying there. This one's drying here. And uh, I'm gonna, actually I'll clean those up later. But I'm gonna go and uh, Start assembling these guys because these guys are dry already they turned out awesome dried and handle them now so I'm gonna install all these guys in there and uh, epoxy the back so it doesn't fall off and uh, wait for everything to set uh, put those guys into the housing first wire them make sure everything works then glue the cap on this thing where is that already also dry um, trying to find it right here I mean once it's in the car it won't look too bad it look like it's just dirty or something but at least it won't leak that's my whole goal so this thing won't leak and uh, we'll replace those that's you know if you're taking that off already and uh, you don't care if it breaks that's fine so on the next time i think the new glue uh i have taken off uh recently resealed the headlight and it wasn't as bad as this old one so all right i'm gonna assemble these guys and uh take you guys along for the ride I glued all the plastics back in looking good everything turned out pretty good just waiting for it to cure and uh, I'm gonna continue on to this housing clean it up inside and uh, start installing these guys because these guys are already dry so they're good to work with 
All right, yay, yay. It is a time consuming process, but hopefully it's worth it at the end. Just stay tuned and see. All right, I got one wired. I mean, it's just barely wired in, but that should give us, you know, look at that turn signal. Man, those are bright. Let's go see daylight running. I'll change these, change these two LEDs. Oh yeah, daylight running. Look, holy moly, those are bright. Dang, dang. Let me see if that everything works like it's supposed to. Let's go. Turn this ignition on. Daylight working. Awesome. Let's go turn the signal on. Hmm. It's going fast. Maybe I'll have to learn or reprogram it. Let's see. Yeah, it's clicking good inside, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. And then, what else? Let's see, turn the lights on. Lights off, I mean, works. Everything works, so I think I'll just have to hook it up that way and uh, go from there. But all the wires are on the exterior, so it's not like if I did hook it up wrong or something. But man, those are bright. A lot brighter. I wish I had the other ones still so I can show you the difference. But yeah, those are really nice and bright. Can't wait to see with the painted how it look. So let's get to working, knock the other one out and uh, test fit everything and get her sealed up. All right, so I'm letting these guys dry. I put a little deal and epoxy did in there for all those uh, lights and everything because everything is outside can't really fit in there plus if something goes out I don't want to take this thing apart so that's gonna be that so now next step is cleaned up all the glue wash these guys up and put the inserts in there test fit it and we're almost there almost there so whew, can't wait to fire those things up get them ready hopefully the gluing thing goes good and everything goes good but exhausted already made a mess of uh, my shop everything everywhere but let's get to work and then we can clean it up everything's assembled i gotta wait for that um Totally forgot about those wires that they have to go outside. So I have to wait for that to set so I don't touch it, the um, adhesive and all that stuff. Then I'm gonna put that bead adhesive into the black channel or into the channel, it's like a black adhesive. Heat her up. Well, first I gotta test fit it, then heat it up and hope she goes together. Whew. But if you guys wonder, like when I turn this around, and I look at it, I love it, you know, except this thing. But you can't really see, you know, you can't really see that. I mean, whatever, you can see everything if you want to see it. But when I turn it around, I love how it looks and everything. So is it worth it? You know, I think it's worth it, you know. It gives you some knowledge how to put all this stuff together, um, how to do all that good stuff. 
and then uh, you can either do it you know for somebody else later on or for yourself again but I could have spent like 400 500 bucks bought aftermarket headlights but I really like the stock ones with the computers and everything so I went ahead and just invested like I think 250 bucks with all the lights with and the fog lights oh man I still forgot I have to do the fog lights but that's all I did and you know I kind of go slow make sure everything's perfect and everything's you know OEM quality and uh, that's just me but yeah I love it I hope it's gonna I mean it's only six o'clock so a couple hours maybe three hours is gonna get dark hopefully I'll get some footage of that but I just, I'm just waiting for that adhesive to cure because I want to put this thing back together already. So I was just thinking and it just came to me. Motorcycle passed by. But I was just thinking it just came to me. So that headlight on the driver's side was fogging up and it had a crack in the back. I'm like, how? The truck was never in a wreck, you know? How did this happen? And then one of the tabs inside, one of these guys that hold this, it was snapped off. So, you know, I uh, glued it back together and I'm like, how did that break off? I'm like, I just unscrewed it and it just fell out. So a while back, Ross will probably remember this. He was driving and somehow a cart was walking across the road, a shopping cart. And he smoked it with that headlight because it is cracked. It's not cracked, but it, you can see kind of like a stretch mark on it and a scuff. So I'm thinking that's where that happened because I don't see any other way. I mean, it was everything was good. I mean, it was good, but that little crack is just probably moisture kept getting in there and there and that's it. But I think 99% sure that's Ross when he smoked a shopping cart with the headlight. So I put this adhesive in there. Um, it just goes all around the edge. Well, first I test fitted the lens and uh, it worked pretty good. Uh, there was, I had to clean up a little bit. I forgot or missed a little piece. So now I'll warm this thing up probably for like five minutes till it's like nice and warm. And then just put the lens on there and hope she seals them. Probably put some uh, silicone around just in case because I don't feel like uh, having any more water in here because actually if it did get in there and then you resealed it it still leaves little spots in there so I'd have to take this whole thing apart again which is not gonna happen I don't want to so but everything's holding like those little adhesives I put everywhere everything's holding everything's working everything I uh, tucked out of the way so it's nice and clean and uh, zip tied and everything so Let's get to warming and see how it works. So this stuff is like rubberish, um, but it sticks to your gloves like crazy. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to uh, smudge anything up. I was hoping I was going to have enough for two. But dude, this thing's nasty. I'll show you guys the other one I already did. I don't think I even need silicone. This thing is pretty good. So we'll see. I was forgot to take the back cap off. Um, and uh, I was pushing it in, and it was so airtight that it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't push in. So that was not very fun. But it works. You know what? I did not test fit this one. No bueno. I don't want to melt this stuff and then have it not go on there. Rather redo it. Good thing I caught this. So excited to get it done. But dang, this one turned out awesome. Look, all that stuff. I mean, I don't think I even need silicone to go around. Dude, this stuff, it was good. I mean, they got into every crack. But look, man, dude, this thing is good. Gotta watch the outside of it, but oh man, I love it. I don't miss the chrome already. Can't wait until they're on the car.
they're both together. Look at that. Look at this one. Man, they turned out beautiful. See how the epoxy, I mean, you have to be really close to see it, but yeah, like some of the vinyl got distorted over here or during the heat, but just a little bit. I could, once I heat it up, I'll, it'll bend back. But all that glue, I mean, it, it came out. So, I mean, it pushed in over there like it needs to. Look at that. So I'm pretty sure I don't need silicone. It's gonna send it this way. But man, can't, can't wait to see how it'll look on the truck, but oh my goodness, kinda liking it. Even the orange, I'm, I gotta say, it looks pretty good. So let's let them cool off a little bit and uh, slap them back in the truck. Well guys, all done. This thing turned out pretty awesome. Show you guys. So let me see how I was last time about here. So you can see the difference. You can't see that chrome, they're pretty dark in there. So let me turn on the lights. Sorry, it's really windy, so we get some wind. Let me turn on the lights. It's a little bit darker right now, so it's a little bit different, but you guys get the idea. I mean, let me turn them off. I'll show you guys a little bit. Um, and then when I turn on the um, hazards or, you know, turn signal, they're super bright. I mean, that's crazy. Look at this. They're brighter than the uh, than the driving lights. They are kind of dim. I, w I wish I could have done something about the driving lights, but that is what it is. But let me turn this off and uh, show you guys. But it took a long time. It was kind of time consuming and it just, um, you know, I broke it a little bit, but I fixed it, so it was a little bit time-consuming, but you know what? It's kind of worth it. I mean, I like it. So a stock headlight, but it's custom. So you have switchbacks, which is awesome. You have bright halos, so it looks like a brand new truck, even though it's already four years old. Um, so it is, you know, a little refresh. So, you know, tell me what you guys think about it. Was it worth it? I mean, I did spend the whole day. I was kind of in and out but for the majority of the day i did spend out here but uh, turn on this light let me see but it turned out good the metallic turned out good you can't really see it on this camera but let me see maybe i'll turn it off then i mean once we get some sun but it turned out good i can't i can't complain for a backyard mechanically it turned out pretty good and you know what those yellow ones they don't look too bad I think it wouldn't too much black if it was, uh, you know, too much black trims. But tell me what you guys think if I should uh, color match all this chrome, like these guys, like this. Let me know. I might do it. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna do these headlights, but I just got tired of that one fogging up all the time, and uh, those daylight running lights. 
are super dim and they don't look like on my BMW uh, you're driving and they're super bright on this thing is like super dim so now it's gonna look nice um, can't wait to drive it at night and see what the difference is but look at this once I turn them on just blinks boom look at that they're pretty bright I mean when they turned on I thought my fog lights turned on but they are a lot brighter a lot nicer and this feature the blinking it's that's awesome now my front uh, match my back with black inside LED so but you guys thanks for watching uh, like subscribe let us know what you think it's out of the ordinary videos it's not a rebuild but it is one of our cars that we got from auction or trucks and we are um, doing some mods to it just making it better improving it let us know if anything else you want us to do to it we'll consider it if it's something reasonable um, but once again thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.